Let us tell you. I think we have time to get to a little uh, steel toe here? Sure. It is, boy, it is weird without having the super chats to break up our our segments here. I feel no, naked. We're just, we're just flowing like crazy, though. Flying through these. Um, yeah, this, this, this will be quick. I want to touch on Steel Toe for a minute, but you weren't here last week, Craig, so let me fill you in. Did you happen to watch our Steel Toe segment? Just I did yes. not. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, never, never mind. <laughs> just pretend you're interested in the show. I have been so fucking busy. Believe me, I know. So what happened to ISO Doe and said, I gotta I gotta do some some fall cleaning. He, he gets arrested and was like, Where's Craig? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Craig is in the Ukraine this week. <laughs> <laughs> um all right, so uh we talked about Steel Toe last week. I'll catch you up, Craig. Mm-hmm. Um he had a live show recently, uh 10th anniversary. At some bar in Minnesota, I actually passed by St. Cloud, Minnesota, in on our drive to the Dakotas. I should have stopped in, mm-hmm. but um, Aaron did a 10th anniversary show. He was promoting this for a while, and then everyone bailed, so Aaron had to do stand up at it. It seemed like kind of a clunky event, but hey, I, as I said, I give Aaron credit, and this is not uh, what's the word I'm looking for. This is not me backhanded. Um, yeah, it's not a backhanded compliment. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, but good enough. Um, I'm not being smug when I say this. I'm not talking down to him. I'm being genuine and saying, like, good for him for having anyone there. You know what I mean? Like, a lot his, of po- his podcast is relatively the same size as mine. I'm not confident that I would get that amount of people at some bar if we, ha- you know what I mean? Like, so good for him, I say. The, the thing I took an interest in <laughs> was the. Uh, the, the fallout from that live show. So Aaron was having a grand old time. He started the show with chants. Craig would fit right in here. They started chanting homo to start the show. He does that a lot. <laughs> he sure does. Well, it's you know what, Craig? It's funny you say that. No, he doesn't. Oh, right. The audience does. Right, right, right. So uh, Aaron does this thing. He's like, guys, guys. Before we start chanting, guys, don't keep chanting homo. So they do, of course. And he goes, hey, guys, you wouldn't chant the N-word, would you? And then some people yell out the N-word. So it feels like a clan rally that he's starting. And then the next day, or the, I'm sorry, Monday, he goes on. And he's like, guys, we had the greatest time. Oh, don't you dare listen to the haters who tell you we had some awful time. No one was saying anything out of, it was, oh, it was a hoot and a holler. It was a, it was a blast at the Steel Toe Live show. Then Patrick Melton did a show that Aaron uh, didn't know anyone had the audio and Aaron played all the audio. (laughs) Then Aaron went on the air and he goes, you know what? I got to take a minute and scold the audience here. I don't know if I can ever do another live show again because of the, abhorrent language that you people used (laughs) he's like that is really and then like people called him out and he was like guys i'm a performer i know the line you people don't that's kind of a funny approach which is like like listen if people are yelling out the n-word at my show i would also be embarrassed and say that was pretty shitty like i don't Mm -hmm. want to be part of that type of event but aaron's instinct was to provoke it and then celebrate it before he got caught. <laughs> so it seemed a little disingenuous. So that was last week's uh, Steel Toe discussion. And then I found some video from the ninth anniversary show. And I thought, well, certainly this year's show got out of hand. Let's, let's take the temperature of what a Steel Toe live show is like, shall we? Can we see, like, this year got crazy. But let's see what a real Steel Toe live show is going Let's go back last year before the world blew up and Steel Toe was friends with Nick Ricada and Nick was going to come on the show. Nick was about to do stand up. I think this is actually Aaron introducing Nick. Let's see what this show was all about. Calmer, saner times. Nick's fans are the colloquialism. Say that, John DeMaran. The colloquialism for Nick's fans are Nickers. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Aaron, hold on a second. 
I've got to warn you. It sounds you're talking about Nick Ricada fans, so I know that's a strong CK sound in there. I'm gonna tell you, it sounds dangerously close to a word you're not supposed to say. Well, I feel my greatest fear is that Aaron finds that. I hope he doesn't realize the horrible mistake he's making. And that it's on film. That'd be tough. That would be that'd be terrible. Nickers. Oh, they support him. so therefore I would like you guys to chant. Oh no. <laughs> what I would like you guys to chant while he comes to the stage is after I announce him, if you could chant Nick Ers. Nick Ers. I think it would encourage him. Oh, <laughs> Aaron, you have no idea what you're doing. What a monster. Aaron, that sounds dangerously close to another word. Don't you understand? Does that sound okay? <laughs> Fuck you! Come on! It sounds to live parts or something? Oh, I'm trying to do a conservative. Thing. That's why it's not very. Uh, I'll just say Dick Kerr. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? What's that? That's why this is not a very popular place for brothers. I can't see you, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm but now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just in a bar. This, is, by the way, like Steel Toe sells tickets to this event, but they're just in a bar. Like people can just walk in. So there just happens to be a black guy in the bar, and he's like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you want them to chant what? <laughs> now, I'm not hearing the thing you're trying to say. I'm hearing what it sounds like. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I Listen, I know you're friends with this guy, Nick, but I got to tell you, <laughs> it's dangerously close to another word. I'm not in the podcasting business, but sir, I got something to tell you. <laughs> so keep in mind, this video is from a year ago. Now, Aaron got high and mighty this year and was like, guys, that was unacceptable. He's starting the chant. This is two years in a row now that we have evidence of, of mm -hmm. him starting an N-word chant. Here he is doing some crowd work. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see how he controls this room. <laughs> Fuck Aaron! <laughs> God, you don't like that. No, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm just hoping that you can hear the reaction and you'll maybe. Okay. Has anyone ever told you this? I just want to ask you a question. Is it, it's not a test or anything else. When I say these two words, what comes to mind first, right? Self-awareness. Oh, Aaron, I'd like to fill in the blank if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like you to ask yourself that question as well. What comes to mind? Steel toe and the amount of clips we've been able to play. About that very topic, self awareness. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. Thank you. It's my pro tip. My pro. I was gonna say my pro tip would have been end there, Aaron. Well, why does he go hun? He does. So you know what's weird about this is like last year. I know there were steel toe haters out there a year ago. Nowhere near to the degree there are now. <laughs> No. So, but this is like, if I did a live show like this, where the audience was there to fuck with me, I just wouldn't do another one. No. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess in a way I give him credit, but it's like, he's not learning that no one's there to really enjoy the show. <laughs> Which is strange. Yeah, no, you're the one on stage, though. Okay. <laughs> The whole thing. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? I, I missed the whole thing. Yeah, that's what he said. Yep, we heard about it. <laughs> How big of him? He's no. not going to do the N word chant now. I thought it was going to be only white people. Now I'm uncomfortable. Oops. <laughs> Boy, this guy was trying so hard to be Anthony Cumia. But here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Say, say what you want to be. Say what you want about Cumia. He, he, he's about that life, as the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta either be that or not. When you get called out for it, you can't go like, oh no, 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 I didn't mean any of it. Like 
you kind of got to be that guy, you know? Right. You have to. But, uh, I was like, for all of Anthony's faults, I can't imagine a black guy being like, hey, you're a fucking racist, and him going, oh, no, no, I'm not, sir, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, but he lost control of this room. Oh, boy. But he was getting laughs for a while. He was. You know what it is? He didn't ask for a refund for his ticket. He was here for that Chrissy ass. I don't know what that's a reference to. I don't know either, but I do enjoy that this started off with him being like, I just want you to hear the reaction from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and now the same thing's happening to him. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, boy. Black no, I, I know what I paid Chrissy for. I know, they run so fast. That's the problem. For the women. Why do the women run so fast? Terrible. You ever seen Black Snake Mo? Yeah. Anyway. Um, but... Oh, boy. Explain the joke. It makes it better. It's a bad guy and a small white woman. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Which is, like as good as white men in our nightmare. By the way, anyone that wants to know why I haven't done a live show yet, this is my greatest fear. <laughs> well, I, I imagine it wouldn't be straight stand-up. <laughs> oh, God, no. What are you, nuts? <laughs> we, should. we should. Well, we'll see. It's fun. <laughs> Jesus. It's like you guys are listening intently waiting for me to make the point. But Jesus. <laughs> He's completely kidding. They're not our nightmare. It's his fantasy. <laughs> Keep explaining it. It makes it a better joke. <laughs> I love how this all stems from me asking him self-awareness. Yes, Aaron, that's the problem. You're asking the crowd questions. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're there to heckle you. What did you think would happen? And he he keeps bombing and going, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> well, what's tough is I, I you know what? Let's close out the clip. Because what's funny about this is you forget what he's doing on stage. You need to get out of the chat right now. <laughs> this guy's killing me. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this segment has been brought to you by Blacks.com. Let's bring him up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage by far the most famous person here. Please welcome his first time doing stand-up okay. comedy, Mr. Nick Potato. Ah, simpler time. <laughs> Nick hadn't fucked his wife yet. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. But you know what they said when I hear, because I, you know, I'm a big fan of comedy, watch a lot of documentaries and things like that, listen to a lot of podcasts. And I always hear guys say, uh, when I bring a younger comic out on the road to me, what I ask him is to completely suck the energy out of the room. Yeah. And I think Aaron did a beautiful job of that. There is you nothing know? worse than the comic before you talking to the audience because then for the rest of the time they think contentiously it's yeah but then, the, <laughs> then everyone after this person is gonna have to deal with people who i'm like i'm allowed to talk to them right it's really fucking annoying <laughs> but the main part of that was just to show like aaron can't get out of his own way and the comparison i made last week was you might get this more uh craig you a francesa guy sure um well at least the clips of him online anyways. yeah 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 sure. um what Francesca's biggest like fault was, but what also made him great, like great to fuck with, is like he didn't realize the internet existed. Right. And like people would call and say, Hey, Mike, you had this prediction. And Francesca would say, I never said that. That's right. <laughs> I, I never said anything like that. Yeah. And then uh Funhouse would put together a great compilation of Francesca betting his house on whatever they're <laughs> accusing him of. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, but that was great. It was fun and because Francis is an old man. He didn't get the internet. It was fun. What's weird about Aaron is he exists on the internet. That's where he lives. <laughs> so and yet he says these things like we can't just look them up. He's like, guys, you you all against my wishes were saying racial slurs. Mm -hmm. And he blamed the audience because he's trying to get a job in radio again. And meanwhile, there's tapes of him two years in a row trying to get an N-word chant going in public. In front of black people. It's crazy. It's a psychotic way to behave and think people are just going to be like, oh, shit, you know what? That is our fault. But in his defense, he didn't realize how famous he was, Mike. Oh, fuck you. I forgot. I thought, I thought we were done. <laughs> no. I forgot we had one more clip. We are oh, not. This cocksucker. <laughs> we are not done. No goal. No goal this week. Uh, all right. Um, 
So yeah, Aaron, the big news for Aaron this week was that he broke his order of protection, which I guess um, his wife put some kind of restraining order on him in April because Aaron and April were going on and talking about Aaron's ex-wife constantly and shitting on her. And there's some clip of Aaron wishing death on her and April saying she would rub her clit to that. That is fucking insane. (laughs) It's a wild thing to do to the mother of your children. I wish my kids were motherless. (laughs) Yeah, it's crazy. Insane. So, um, so that's fun. April says she'd jerk off to it, I guess. And uh, so the mother says, I'd, if you don't mind, (laughs) I'd rather not be spoken about on your podcast. And Aaron said, fine. And she said, well, I don't really believe you. So I'd like the law to get involved. (laughs) And they did. And Aaron kept talking about her over and over and over again. There are YouTube channels that have uh, hour plus videos of Aaron referencing his wife in the time after that agreement. Um, So Aaron had to go to court because he misunderstood that the order of protection was given by a judge. It's now out of the wife's hands. So he was like, well, me and the wife are in good standing now, so I can say whatever I want. And evidently a Minnesota judge said, I don't know about that. (laughs) Um, So Aaron, I guess if Aaron violates his probation, he has to do 90 days in jail or some shit. You can get in trouble for speaking. Uh, If you have a restraint. Yeah. If there's an order of protection on you. Yeah. From talk. I didn't realize it it meant. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, well, that's specifically what it was about. It's not. This is not a restraining order. People keep saying a restraining order. Mm-hmm. Uh, I and, and I'm tr- I'm talking out of my ass here. I don't know the law. I probably I know it less than you guys do. But my understanding is the order of protection is specifically she sought a lawyer and said this guy is talking about me on a podcast and I would like to stop that. I didn't know that was le- you could do that. Evidently, you can at least in Minnesota. So, oh. um, yeah. So that's. The order that was put on Aaron, a judge said, you got to stop. And uh, Patrick Melton and a bunch of other people tweeted about this the other day. And this is Aaron spinning that into a win, which is actually kind of impressive in a weird way. You know what's great? <laughs> what? Is when people who hate you, yeah, like Patrick or somebody, uh-huh. posts a picture that like somebody was waiting outside the courthouse and got a picture of me as I came out of the courthouse. Are you fucking kidding? Dude, I'm famous. I'm the man. <laughs> I'm the fucking greatest thing. These people follow me all over. <laughs> yeah. They love me. Gross. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Melt- These people follow you all over the place. One guy on his day off went to a courthouse and took a picture of you. I was just about to uh, say something, and I realized who I was talking about. I was like, he doesn't actually think this, right? And I stopped myself. <laughs> but here's, here's the problem with Aaron is like, it, you can he's trying to be tongue-in-cheek. Yet he has literally said this about himself. He thinks he's one of the greatest broadcasters ever. He thinks his show is constantly winning and the edgiest show on the internet. So even when he's trying to be kind of cutesy about it, you're like, well, you feel this way. So it's hard for me to have a good laugh at it. If he's trying (laughs) the edgiest show and he's like, let's get a homo chant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whoa. It's crazy. And now I will say if you chants like that, probably break out at Skankfest. I'm not saying whether or not I take part in them, but <laughs> there's, a, there's a charm to what they do that I don't think Aaron has. You could scream the F word at the top of your lungs and not get in trouble. You got to take advantage of it. <laughs> I don't do that. I'm not that crazy. Someone has a camera out. <laughs> fan that has yeah. nothing better to do with their life than to follow you around Dude. and watch you winning. Bro, I'm the fucking man. <laughs> I this really not, am. I can't help it. This guy next to him is not helping him. <laughs> <laughs> but his co-hosts are insufferable. Here's what's crazy: is like we don't get into like this is not an argument-based podcast, <laughs> so I'm surprised we ever have this feedback. But people sometimes say like, "Oh, Craig or Casey Day just agree with Mike," which I'm always surprised to hear that. But if you put it side by side with Steel Toe, these guys, this is crossfire. This is well, we did just literally disagree on the Rogan special, so take that chat. Yeah, what a heated Ooh. argument that was. Why are you laughing? We disagree with uh, each other more. It goes to the Amy Schumer uh, episode. <laughs> was, but, that, uh, was, that was a good one. I think we were. But, but, but that's I mean, that's not in the same stratosphere. Like, yeah. listen, I don't know if this is Matt or Johnny. I, I, I confuse the two. But uh, 
listen to this guy tell back up Aaron and tell him how much he's winning more i can't even be humble around these people <laughs> you follow me you take pictures of me looking fucking dressed to the nines i look fucking stunning as evidence as uh, evidence dressed to the nines he wore a suit to court that's what you're supposed to do technically to the nines you don't look at someone you you don't stand in a courthouse and look at someone in a suit and go my god is the king here today matter of fact you see someone in gym shorts in the court you're like what the fuck is this yeah life in prison yeah <laughs> the picture online as like there's aaron coming out of the courthouse there were people who i've seen tweet at me that i'm the biggest piece oh, of shit in the world in the he actually does look really good <laughs> now, now, Craig, i'm gonna ask do you believe that oh my god do you I, do you believe that people have been trolling aaron for months and uh talking about him going over to Nick Ricada's drug den and having all these orgies and the goal hitting the goal and what a pompous ass Aaron is and every day this guy on Twitter is obsessed with calling out steel toe for the hypocrites that they are but then he sees that oh my god <laughs> who is that <laughs> he's actually quite who? suave that's not Aaron Imholt as i live and breathe well, today's the day that I have to start being a little unbiased here and say that that is a dapper fellow. He is. He's quite good looking. My God. <laughs> Who let you out of the house looking that good? <laughs> Aaron, hold up. Go back inside. You're going to stop traffic. Too many people. <laughs> You're so handsome. This little town can't take this paparazzi. <laughs> God, is that George Clooney? <laughs> uh, but there's more here. Yeah. Fucking yeah, 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 good fucking fun. suit. My second favorite suit, motherfucker. Nice. So uh, which one was my it? Second favorite suit, motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. He's code switching or whatever it's called. <laughs> the DJ hit me with it. Is this after the N word thing? Oh yeah, that's hilarious that he's talking like that now. He's like. Mm. I would never do that. Mm -mm. She, I'd be <laughs> looking fine. Oh, she. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris in the chat says, "I think you guys disagree a lot." Reminds me of home. It's nice. <laughs> I, I, as a rule, want to be seen publicly disagreeing with Craig, just for later. Yeah, <laughs> for when the defense comes. Yeah, like yeah. people are like, "Oh, he didn't. He, he, he was polar opposite of this guy." Yeah, no similarities whatsoever. <laughs> the light blue shirt, yeah, with the dark blue jacket. Uh huh. The dark oh, good. We get the whole rundown. Brown belt, okay. tied together with some beautiful high mirror shined brown dress shoes. There you go. Look great. I've never called my own shoes beautiful. Beautiful. I have some pretty <laughs> nice dress shoes. Do you, do you say? Do you ever point down and go beautiful? Eh? No, I actually just. The most I've ever talked about them is I'm like, I can't believe how comfortable these are. Put on your shoes and say, all right, who's sliding out of their chairs, ladies? <laughs> Craigie's got his shoes on. <laughs> Beautiful. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he spoke in a different way to convey how beautiful these fucking shoes are. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Great Scott! <laughs> is that Aaron Imholt? And those shoes. Oh my, they're beautiful. <laughs> well, they're, they're wiping their glasses. <laughs> this must be a mirage. <laughs> and to change. <laughs> what a horse's ass. Oh, he's, the, he's like, terrible. I, I can't imagine I would ever talk like this, but like, I would hope to be goofed on. Like, Mm -hmm. Does Aaron think he comes off as cool when he talks like that? Like, people are going to be, God, I didn't realize I was making fun of such a suave and handsome guy. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. All these all these months or all these years, I thought I'd been hammering an uggo online. <laughs> I didn't realize how fucking cool he was. <laughs> He's the coolest. <laughs> Channing Tatum himself. <laughs> Uh, we gotta go to the next uh, Steel Toe Live show. Well, you would fit right in, my friend. No, no, I wouldn't. Oh, oh, you'd love it. 
<laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. Like Kevin talking to Oscar about jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you Craig, would... I think you'd love a Steel Toe live show. <laughs> Just trust me. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't imagine talking about myself in that way, but Aaron really seems to enjoy it. So good for him, I guess. I, I would throw up at the thought of having a, an ego like that. Well, that's what's like. Aaron pretends to like steer into the skid sometimes, but he's not able to because he thinks he's like, I'm siding with everyone who, despite shitting on me, thinks I looked great at the courthouse. Right. Which is like, I'm sure you look fine. You should look your best in court. But how that's like a win for you and your show. Like if a mug shot came out of me and I didn't look horrendous and I tweeted out like, guys, pretty swell, huh? Have to sure, a, a sure. Team. I was sure I was cited in the ISO dose scandal. <laughs> look at my smile. That would have to be a T-shirt for sure. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's absolute. But yeah, is that it for uh, Steel Toe? That is it. 